Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our last lecture, we covered the measures of central location as well as we calculated the standard deviation. And in today's lecture, I'm going to explain and demonstrate the use of A range and Lin space methods of NumPy. So let's get started. Let me open my terminal. So first of all, I'm going to write Python 3 and hit enter. So what is a range method? That's going to be our first topic. So NumPy a range is one of the array creation routines in Python. So array creation routine is just a method to create an array. So a range method is one of the array creation routines or array creation methods based on numerical ranges. It creates an instance of ND array with evenly spaced values. So it creates an instance of ND array with evenly spaced values and returns the reference to that array in simpler words because i know that complicated definitions are a little difficult to understand so in very simple words or in beginners or rookies words it returns a list of integers between the start and stop parameters so it returns a list of integers between the start and stop parameters or values including the start value but excluding the stop value or the end value so it's pretty simple now it's a method to create an array so that array will contain a list of values which will be evenly spaced and they will be between a start and a stop value. So let me just write array is equal to np.arrange and pass a start value and a stop value. Sorry, I have not imported numpy as np first. So it's giving me an error. Let me just import and do the same thing again so array is equal to np.arrange and i need to pass 0 and 11 as start and stop value and i need to print the array so you can see that i pass 0 and 11 so i got all the integers between 0 and 10 and not 11 so 11 is not included so this returns us numbers from 1 to 10 and one thing to note is that 11 is not included so that's an important observation and an important thing to keep in mind while working with a range method if you might have observed a range method is very similar to the python range method so if you are not acquainted with the range method please refer to our playlist on python another important attribute of the a range method is the step size we can also specify the step size so let me just specify the step size as 2 now i am printing the array again and now i got only the even values so note that this returns us the even values or the even numbers from 0 to 11. So whenever there is a question that create an array of even numbers between a starting and an ending value, you can always use a range method and specify the step size as 2. So we can specify whatever step size we require. Now let's move on to the lin space method. So we discussed 
the A range method, which is very similar to the range method in Python. And now we are going to move to Lin space method and see what is the difference between A range method and the Lin space method. So the Lin space method returns evenly spaced points or elements between a start value and an end value. So it returns evenly spaced points or elements between a start value and a stop value. But an important thing to note here is that they don't need to be integers. So a range method always returns us integers, but lin space method will return us evenly spaced values or evenly spaced point, but they will not be integers. So the syntax is numpy alice or np dot lin space. We need to pass start stop and the number of elements or the number of points that we need or require. So note that the difference between the lin space and a range is that lin space does not necessarily return integer values. This is a very important point to emphasize. That's why I'm repeating it multiple times so that it gets into your head directly. So don't confuse lin space with a range method because it returns integer values only. So now I'm going to demonstrate the use of lin space method. So you need to follow the syntax as described earlier. So the start is zero, end is five, and number of values required are 10. So it gives me 10 values. Another important observation here is that it returns the start value as well as the end value. Yes, so that's another difference between lin space and a range method because a range method excludes the end value while the lin space method includes the end value. Now the next example is obtained 100 points between 0 and 1 which are evenly spaced. So this time I need to specify the start as 0, the end as 1 and the number of values required as 100. Now I have printed the list. So it gives me 100 values between 0 and 1 and it includes 1. So that's the difference. Now I have an assignment for you obtained 50 evenly spaced values between 6 and 9 using lin space method. So that's your assignment. I hope you complete it. So in today's lecture, we started about a range and lin space methods of numpy and I demonstrated the use of both. That will be all for today. This video is brought to you by programming knowledge. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell button for updates and stay tuned with us for next lecture. Thank you.